without dynamic routing protocol writing static route manually is very difficult for administrator he has to know the complete knowledge complete topology see if you don't know the complete uh, city how you will draw a map if you don't know where is airport which direction where is bus stand which direction where is that market if you don't know the city thoroughly you cannot write them you cannot draw a map likewise you cannot write static route unless you know the complete network it's not that easy to know the complete topology of a big enterprises we will have multiple engineers working in different segment of one enterprises so knowing complete static route is one task difficult task another task is writing the static route without any mistake sometime when we write the path was available but later the path got changed the link you connected through some other way then everywhere you need to go and change the static routes that we wrote with the dynamic routing protocol we no need to know complete topology yesterday i showed you you just advertise the network which is there on that router you just use a network command and advertise to the network which is on that router that is enough and the advertisements of one router becomes the update for the other router the other router learns that okay you have gold and you learn from me that i have silver because i say i have silver i have silver i have silver i advertise you also advertise i have gold i have gold so if i want gold i exchange silver with you if you want silver you exchange gold with me or you come and take from me i come and take from you so we advertise the material that we have that's all we need to know we need to advertise what we have that's the type of you know business going on everywhere not only networking if you want to sell sell something you just go to olx in india olx sooks in dubai in middle east in various country there is a website we go and just put the picture and we we advertise we don't really know who are all going to see that page and who is going to buy you don't need to worry about it earlier it was not that practice earlier when the internet was not there everyone used to travel every day with ambassador car with little rich people will have omni sorry not omni mar the 800 and they used to travel to different state and say uh, we have rice and uh, you can call me this is our telephone number that is like one static route you know on those days they used to do business but today everything is online dynamic routing protocol is like an online sales business every router will advertise the network that it has got locally configured this advertisement will help the other routers to know about your networks so that they can forward the packet to you routing information protocol is one of the routing protocol rape with a metric of 
hop count. You see, on those days, they used to measure gold, rice, wheat, silver, and they used to do exchange, turmeric, onion, garlic, they used to exchange. That is how the business was earlier. No money, no dollar, no yarn, no N, no dirhams, no euros. It was just you no know, exchange of goods. Later money came, the value for goods have gone bad. Even for value for humanity gone bad. You see, people go and work for big, big MNCs. For one month, they will work expecting one small salary. According to them, they are thinking that they are getting big salary. No, the work they are doing for the corporate company is millions, billions of dollars. In exchange, they give some thousands. And they are very happy. Oh, I'm earning 50,000, 60,000. But if you see that work they are doing in team, the big network that they build, the big projects, you know, the, those projects are earning crores of money for the MNC companies. Crores and crores. Very poorly exchanged. If you would have exchanged gold to gold, silver to silver, or some food material to gold and silver, it would have been better. This evil money has come and lost, removed the value of human. Today, people work the whole day for 500 rupees, 400 rupees. Sweating and very difficult. It's all because of money. If no money, people would have lived with respect. Okay, I'll come and work in your home. You come and work in my home. You know plumbing? Okay, fine. You come and work. I know construction. I'll come and work in your home. How decent it is. So routing protocols, they have a metric what I give, how much I give. How much I give and what I give. We call it as metric. See, I'll give you another example for metric. If you're planning for a, uh, uh, for a watch, you're buying, you're planning to buy a watch. What you will see, see different people will see in different uh, angle. If you will ask me what type of watch you need, I'll say a watch that will show me one 365 days in that friend panel. With all times, everything. All 365 days I should see in one glance. There is no such watch. If you ask uh, the other one small kid, the kid will say, I want a pink color watch. I want blue color watch. Color is the metric for the child. If pink is there or blue is there, the child will say, this is the best watch in the world. You give, you give the same watch to me, I'll say, what do you think about me? What is this? You are giving like 10 rupees watch. Who will wear this? <coughs> so for me, the color of the watch is not a matter. For me, the technology behind it is the matter. For other person, he wants that uh, branded HMT, made in India. If you if you give him a HMT watch, he'll he'll say he has given me the best watch. Because he is measuring the best based on the brand. 
I measure the watch based on the technology behind. The child measures the watch as color as the measuring tool. So everyone has got their own way to measure and say this is best and that is not the best. When we have multiple paths, how RIP measures, let's say you have router 1, router 2, router 3, router 4, router 5. Now, router 1 is learning route about this network 3.3.3.3. Router 1 is learning network 3.3.3.3 because 3333 is advertised by router 3 to router 2 as well as to router 5 and 5 is advertising to router 4 and router 4 is advertising 3.3.3.3. Router 2 is also advertising that 3.3.3.3 to router 1. Now router 1 knows that I have two paths to reach 3, 3, 3, 3. If I need to send any traffic to 3, 3, 3, 3, I have two paths, but I cannot send via both the paths. Why? Both are not equal. See, there is two. Watch in front of you. You will pick one and uh, leave the other one because you have only one hand to uh, wear your watch. You cannot wear watch in both right and left. Only left, no? Only one watch you need. So two watches are kept in front of you. It is free. You can take any one. Now you will pick the one that you like according to the metric that you have. If you are a child, then you will go for pink color. If you are adult, then you will go for costly watch, or high technology watch, or uh, the branded watch. Likewise, router one is given with two paths. Which one router one should pick? RIP will decide that based on the hop count. The RIP protocol running on router one. When it learns this 3.3.3.3, it learns that 3.3.3.3 is three hop. Actually speaking, two hops. Two hops. That is how router two will advertise it. Please focus. Router three will advertise saying 3.3.3.3, for me it is local. So it is zero hop. So whoever is receiving it, for them, how many hops? One hop. Now router 2 learns that 3.3.3.3 is one hop. Likewise, router 5 will also learn that 3.3.3.3 is one hop. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sorry for the interruption. Mm -hmm. What is mean by hop count, sir? Yeah. Hop means jump, you see? For router 2, how many jumps to reach 3 network? Only one hop, no? One level, yes, sir. One hop. Hop means one jump is one hop. The frog used to hop. Frog, no frog. Frog yes, hops. Sir. Hopping means jumping. So, according to router 5 also, one hop to reach. Router 2 also, it is how many hops? One hops. But how router 5 and router 2 knows that it is one hop? Because router 3, while advertising, it is saying, for me it is zero, so for you it should be one. Now what router 5 will do, you know? It will say, for me it is one, for you it is what? Two. 
So, router four uh, learns that three dot three dot three dot three is two hops. Now, router four is advertising saying three dot three dot three dot three for me it is two hop. So, what is for you? Three hop. Is that right? Yes, sir. Hmm. And now, router two, what it will advertise to router one? My hop count is one. Mm. So for you, it, hop count is two. Yeah, it is advertising two. So router one is now learning that there are two paths. One is two hop path. The other one is three, three hop, hop path. path. Which one you will choose? Smaller is better. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that is why we call it as. Hop count as a metric because we use the hop count to measure which one is better and which one is not better. It is the hop count that decides the best part. Hop count. So if there are two routes to reach uh, your native place, you will take point-to-point -point bus most of the time. Why, you know? You don't stop too many bus uh, stops. So you can reach the destination early. Correct? There are two buses in the bus stand. One bus is point-to-point -point bus, another one is normal bus. It will stop every stop. Every small junction, it will stop. Will you go in that small in that bus which is going to stop for many stops? No. You will try to take point to point bus so that you need not to travel for a long time. Same distance but less time. Because less bus stops. Same way. Here there are two paths. One path is having one bus stop. That is router two. Another path is having two bus stops, router 4 and router 7. Which path you will take? You will take the path whose metric is smaller. Smaller, smaller. the metric, better is the route. Chinna kallu betzalabu, diamond. Likewise, smaller the metric, is the best part. better is the root. Right, next is, every routing protocol has got its own style to decide the best path. According to RIP, it is hop count. Not every protocol is going to use hop count as metric. See, again, I'm telling you. Every protocol has got its own metric. For RIP, hop count is the metric, okay? For RIP, the measuring method is using hop count. Next. We were talking about different dynamic routing protocol. One was RIP. Do you remember the other one? EIGRP. Very correct. EIGRP. The other one? OSPF. Open shortest path first. Okay. Okay, anyway, this is enough for me now. Now, you see, you have these three protocols. All three protocols are enabled in a router, assume. All three protocols are enabled in a router. One protocol says, RIP says, you go out via this way, let's say, Giga Ethernet 0, go via this interface in order to reach 1.1.1.1. 
the EHRP says you go via this path, giga 0 slash 1, to reach 1.1.1.1. .1 OSPF says, no, 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 you, you come via this way, um, maybe gig Ethernet 3, to reach 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1 .1. You see, same destination, but each routing protocol shows different path. Same destination, each routing protocol shows different path. Which one to choose? See, if it is RIP protocol, here it is only one protocol RIP. Showing two paths, you used metric as the tiebreaker. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. He used the hop count and see which path has got less hop, and you decided to use that path. But now, it is not same protocol. It is three different protocol. RIP says come through this way. EHRP says no, 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 come through this way. OS5 says come through this way. Now, which way the packet will be forwarded if it is destined? If it needs to go to the destination. 1.1.1.1 .1 which way will it take which way will it take <clears throat> will it go via g0 or g1 or g3 that depends on administrative distance What is it? Administrative distance is a number that is given to each protocol. The protocol whose administrative distance is lower is preferred. Repeating again, administrative distance is a number given to each routing protocol so that when multiple protocol provides route information, the protocol with lower administrative distance number, the protocol with lower administrative distance number will be considered as the best protocol. For example, the administrative distance of RIP is 120, EAGRP is 90, OSP is 110. Tell me, this router, MAGIC, this name of the router is MAGIC, assume. What path the MAGIC router will use? Will it use G0, G1, or G3? Will it use G1? Very nice. So you understood what is administrative distance. Yes, sir. Administrative distance is useful only when you have multiple routing protocols. Otherwise, it won't be used. It will be there, yes, but it won't be used unless you have multiple routing protocols. Protocol. Okay. So, administrative distance of RIP is what? 90. Hello. Administrative Hello? distance of RIP is what? 120. Ah. Administrative distance of OSP is what? 110. Very good. So now you learned the administrative distance of RIP. RIP's metric is hop count. RIP's administrative distance is 120. Next. RIP, in order to send the updates, see every router has got some advertisement to do, no? Yes or no? Every yes, router sir. will advertise some network. To advertise the network, 
there is a need of an address. RIP has got two versions actually. Version one uses a broadcast address. RIP one uses a broadcast address to do advertisement. RIP one, RIP version one uses broadcast address to do advertisement. What does that mean? If anything need to be sent, it will be sent to this address. If if any packet is sent to this address, it will go to every router. Yes, sir. Every one. Because 255, 255, 255, 255 is the broadcast address. It means everyone. version one uses broadcast address. RIP version 2 uses a multicast address 224.0.0.9. RIP version 1 uses a broadcast address. RIP version 2 uses multicast address. RIP version 1 is a class full protocol. RIP version 2 is a class less protocol. What does that mean? Class full protocol understands only a class full network. See, for example, when I have 10.1.0.0/16, according to RIP version 1, on this router 1, there is 10 network. That's all. Repeating again. Hello, understand. According to RIP version 1, how many networks are here in this router? Two networks. Only one. Yes, sir. Ten networks. Ten networks. Because it, it cannot understand the classless. It cannot understand 16. Because it's a class full protocol. Yes, sir. Only when it is 16, this is different network from this, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, when it is not 16, when it is 8, both are same network, 10 network. Yes, sir. Mm. RIP version 1 is a class full network, so class full routing protocol. Class full routing protocol. But in, in our today's network, everywhere we will see classless only, correct? Yes, everywhere subnetting. So it is recommended to enable version 2 RIP. Recommended, okay? So whenever we enable RIP, we enable version 2 so that there won't be any confusion in our learning in a classless network. Fine. Version 1 is a class full protocol. Version 2 is a classless, classless routing protocol. The classless routing protocol uses 224.0.0.9 for advertisement. Class full protocol uses broadcast address 255 for advertisement. Next. This RIP protocol, if it is enabled on a router, the router will send the advertisement about the networks periodically. We call it as periodic update. It 
This periodic update is every 30 seconds. Updates are sent every 30 seconds periodically. RIP sends update every 30 seconds. Updates are sent periodically every 30 seconds. Now, if a router after advertising, if it stops advertising, say for example, I have router one, I have router two. Router two is connected to 2.2.2.2 .2 network. Router one is connected to 1.1.1.1 .1 network. In between there is 10.0.0.1. 10.0.0.2. See, router 1 will advertise which network? 1 network. 1.1.1.1. Likewise, router 2 will advertise? 2.2.2.2. How often they will advertise? How often? Every 30 seconds. Every 30 seconds. Assume, after advertising, even after router 1 learning about 2.2.2.2, router 1 has learned from RIP the 2.2.2.2 gateway is 10.0.0.2. Yeah, this one. Yes, sir. From RIP it learned. After learning, you know what happened? This link got broken. If the link got broken, what will happen to the network? It will disappear. Yes, the network yes, won't be active because the link is not active. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Router 2 will immediately erase it from its routing table. Router 2 will not have route in the routing table because Router 2 knows that the network is no more. It is gone down. Correct? Yes, sir. So Router 2 will not advertise it anymore. Earlier, it was advertising every 30 seconds. Router 1 has already learnt it. But Router 2 now is not ready to advertise. Router 2 is not ready to advertise it anymore. Because you don't have the network. What will happen to the route in the Router 1's routing table is the question. What will happen to the route in the routing table of R1? Will it be removed? No. <laughs> but it should be removed, no? Because according to router 2, it still thinks that two network is available. According to router 1, according to router 1, it still thinks that router sorry, 2.2.2.2 is available in router 2. But in reality, yes, there is no network. There is no network. Router. So the routing table of router one needs to be converged, needs to be needs to change according to the current status. The routing table of R1 should be changed according to the current situation, current status. How can R1? How R1 will know that I have to remove this? R1 has already learnt it from R2. But R2 now stopped advertising about 2222 because there is no 2222 available anymore. There is no 2222 available anymore. So what will happen to the root in the router 1? will not be removed. Router 1 has to now do some decision, should, should make some decision. How? Router 1 will wait till the wait time expire. Listen, like updates have got periodic update. There is a wait time that is also called as hold time. Both are same. In RIP, the hold time or the wait time is 180 seconds. 180 seconds. 
after three minutes what is three minutes 180 second is what three minutes after three minutes only router one will say i waited three minutes so now what i'm going to do i'm going to consider this network is no more with router 2 it is possibly down say i am not using my english word this is how the routing table will show you after waiting 3 minutes it will show you possibly down now how long this route will be there for another 60 seconds so totally how many seconds 240 seconds totally 180 plus Another 60 seconds, it will keep holding in the routing table saying it is possibly down. After the 16 sec 60 seconds, it will completely remove the route from the routing table. We call this as flush interval. Flushing means what? Cleaning, right? Yes, sir. Flush out, flush out. Clean out, clean it properly, flushing it. So to flush out a lost route, the route that is lost, to remove the route, it takes totally four minutes. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Four minutes is what? 240 seconds. Yes. Right? Yes. Now, yes, listen, I'm going to the top. You see this topology. According to R1, which one is the best path? Up count is two. Why are outer one? Two. Why are? Why are? Yeah. What happened is this line got broken. Now, for router one to decide to put the traffic via router four, how many minutes it will take? Four minutes. Just you learn, no? Just now you learned. Yes, sir. Two forty. See. Earlier it was saying router 2 is the best path because of less hop. But now router 2 stopped yes. telling about this network 33333. Router 2 stopped telling about this network 33333. Why? Because there is a cut in the wire. Yes, sir. So now router 1 will wait how many seconds? 4 minutes to decide even though router 1 knows that there is another path via router 4, it cannot simply swap it, uh, swap it until the old route is removed from the routing team. The old route needs to be removed first. To remove, yes. it takes 240 seconds. It takes 240 seconds to remove from the routing table. Four minutes for the convergence. I told you what is convergence. Convergence means adapting to the network change. So to change the routing table according to the current situation, it takes 240 seconds, four minutes. In a big network, this is very bad. This is very slow in decision, slow in Convergence. You understand? Yes, sir. So this is one of the drawback of RIP. It is slow in convergence. Right? So we'll have one more day 